bros, we're gonna go into the darkest place we've never gone before. Back in into our nostalgia. Yes, but not just into our nostalgia. Into that one part of us that makes us sob like little girls. Are you ready? You don't mean. Look at the freak. Look at what we're looking at right now. Holy shit. Boys, let's do this. Alright. See, Harlan's got a good idea. Let's go then, man. Let's roll this. This Christmas. Next Christmas. Ah, oh, next Christmas? Oh, it'd be so boring. Oh, they did this. They did it this Christmas. Never stop. to actually to 
actually work on something. You know, a lot of guys in my um, department, they like to cut corners. And that's like, you know, Marvel just like, I don't think Marvel in the sense were like, fuck it, this is going to do whatever, we're going to do whatever with this. Because, oh, it's just going to work. Yeah, I mean, people, I ain't tr I, 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 we're going to lay something heavy on you for a minute. I mean, I understand trying to save a loved one, but if they're prepared to die, if they're really, like, ready to go, this is like their only little time, let them go. Because if they said they're fine, they're ready to move on, they're ready to transcend the next to the next plane of existence, let them go. Okay? Don't do, don't do what Spider-Man did. Spider-Man's stu Spider stupid. Because, trust me, I, me and, me and Bugsy and Hunter, we love all our aunts and uncles, but if there was time for them to go, and we're just being little whiny kids and not letting them just pass on, they're ready, they're fully ready, well, we're no better, we would be no better than freaking Buffy, I mean, Buffy's friends and Buffy the Vampire Slayer that freaking took Buffy out of heaven. Just because they can't fight on their own. Yeah, that still pisses me off. Oh, we need Buffy. We can't learn how to fight vampires and other things on our own. We're just the equivalent of Krillin. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, you guys can get mad at me all you want, but seriously? That's how I feel about freaking... That's how I feel about the um, last season of Buffy when they brought her back from the dead. And they said, you can never bring people back from the dead because it will never be the same. So they just freaking took their own rules and freaking made, and they freaking cut out a hole in the book of their rules and they did, they just, they fucked it. Okay, they just fucked the hole. That ain't right. Okay, but you did like the musical one. Oh, most definitely. I'm not even gonna lie, but I, I still get mad at that sometimes because... You know, every time I look at one, once more feeling, it's like you guys didn't understand she was in heaven. I mean, yeah, she fell through the freaking hell portal, but that doesn't mean she went to hell. Jesus, and she probably can't go back if we're going by all dogs go to heaven rules. You know, like. Like, seriously, she got brought back, she'd probably never go back. She's probably gonna be in purgatory next time she dies. Yeah, did any of you freaking, did any of you fictional characters figure out that little tid tidbit of information? <laughs> Bugsy, let it go. Let it go. I mean, and another thing, Angel freaking ended on a freaking cliffhanger. Didn't even finish the fight, they just ended it on a cliffhanger. Oh, oh, that's... Let's not finish the fight and let them have it done. Let them have a re resolution that's worth it. No, let's just have it in a f***ing cliffhanger because we know this f***ing show isn't coming back. You done? I'm done. Alright, let's go in. <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 Andre. Bugsy is like really, 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 really looking at... Looking at what you said in your video, but also looking at, um... Oh, I guess this one is yours. Oh. But, um, we're gonna look at your video. We're gonna look at your video. We're not trying to, we're not trying to claim it. We're not trying to claim it for money or anything. We're just kind of doing this. Smurf. It's a miracle. Smurf balloon ya. Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd. I cannot believe what I read is real, but it's real. You know, I've gotten used to Andre <laughs> with a beard now, you know? I've, been, I, I, I've gotten... Did he have a beard? Yeah, I've kind of gotten used to that, too. Like, it's weird now that he has, you know, I look at an old video and he has no beard. It's weird. It's weird. I'm saying this. They're making a brand new Smurfs movie, and it's going to be completely animated. I'm not kidding. Fully animated CGI movie. No live action, no New York. And that's good. Freaking Sony is learning from its mistake. Now every freaking studio is like, oh, since we can put, since we're gonna do the whole fish out of water story like two times, yeah, now we can do a freaking 
we can do a freaking movie where it's just completely animated. I'm just saying, as long as they stay in their worlds, I'm fine. Because that was so stupid, they just freaking... So, is that, does that mean no live action Gargamel? I guess so. That I don't mind. You know, as long as they get the same guy that was... As long as they get... Uh, I think it was Frank Azaria that was doing it. Was it? He was the only one freaking enjoying the drawing that he was in that movie. He was just like, he's silly, he's doing it, man. Eh. You know? But personally, you know, I would really, really, really enjoy, um, I would really, really, really enjoy a, sm a completely Smurf animated movie. I mean, I'd actually go to the theaters and watch that. I mean, it's cool if you want to have, like, a... Uh, Yo, cameos from other celebrities, but they gotta be like, they gotta, it, it's gotta be like a, a wink to the audience. And it's cool to have references too, but again, you gotta learn how to wink to the audience, you know what, yeah, you know this character, wink, just, you know, they just need to do it right and not screw it up, and that's what I've been, that's what me and Ani have been dreading whenever we hear, when we hear the words, Sonic movie. Yeah, I mean, the OVA, the OVA folks captured what Sonic was all about. Yes, it was goofy as all hell, but it may, but it captured what Sonic is about, or at least, yeah, it captured what Sonic was about back then. And we want, we want Sonic, we want Sonic to be kind of represented, like the Smurfs. Yeah, truly. It's like, I mean, people always ask us, you know, why, why you guys dread, why you guys dread like Ghostbusters and why you dread like Ghostbusters um, and Sonic the Moot and Sonic having a movie because we're scared because we keep saying, oh, we're gonna they're gonna get rebooted now. We know there's a female all ghost. We get we got female. Ghostbusters cast, which is cool. I'm not, I don't mind that. It's just everything that they said after and before that. Like they want, like a, the first they wanted a freaking gigantic reboot of Ghostbusters with them going to high school and a whole bunch of stuff, and then they wanted this and that and all this other stuff. And I just hope the female Ghostbusters thing is what they're doing. And they're not trying to make like this weird extended universe where Egon and Egon and Ray and Bankman are like in like in freaking high school because I swear to God, dude, that's I mean, Mister Mister Dan Aykroyd, I don't mean to be rude. I don't mean to be rude or crude or anything like that to you because I just feel like you know you guys want to jump on Ghostbusters now. It's I don't, I don't like the fact that you're going on, you're doing this now, when your, you know, your writing partner is gone, your buddy is gone, he's dead, and you're just, you, you're doing it now. We've all wanted it like way before, it, way before it was a thing, way before you guys were still like mulling it over, and now you want to do it because freaking, um, freaking, freaking Harold Ramis is dead. I'm just, it, it just kind of irks me a bit. Just a bit. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to be. I ain't trying to be my usual. Oh, I fucking hate this. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck that. Because you know, I ain't trying to. You know, I ain't trying to recur to rap Dan Aykroyd here. I'm just trying to say, you know, it's just. Ugh. And when I've seen so many movies lately that didn't meet, didn't meet its own expectations. Writers freaking getting up, jumping the ship when it's when. A sequel is announced because they know it's bad. You know, they keep seeing movies that do good. They keep seeing movies that do bad, and you know, Ghostbusters to me is like one of those one of those things I remember, you know, nostalgically, and I love it. And and Smurfs same way, Sonic Two same thing. I'm just worried that they're gonna screw it up, and it's just gonna be so bad, and no one's ever. You know, with Sonic, it's like his first chance to actually have a movie. An actual movie 
done by a studio that sometimes can be kind of douchey depending on what movie you're watching. But still, it just kind of makes me a little bit worried, a little bit worried. This new Ghostbusters with an all-female cast, I'm not really, I'm not really worried. A lot of you Ghostbusters fans out there were like, oh my god, an all-female cast, shut the fuck up, god dang, there can be other, there can be an all-female cast Ghostbusters and it can still be funny and awesome at the same time, just try it. Jesus, if you if you all, if all of you were just clinging to the fact that Ghostbusters, if you guys are just clinging to the fact that you don't want a female cast of Ghostbusters, well, dudes, go back, watch freaking, watch freaking the Ghostbusters cartoon, play the Ghostbusters video game, and I'm not talking about, like, the ones on Sega, and the Sega Master System and the other one, I mean, get the one on the Genesis, that's when, that one is fun, but I'm talking, like, play the one on the Xbox slash PlayStation 3. You know, and just stay in your little time bubble. Everybody else will be trying to enjoy this movie. I really think, I mean, a female, an all-female cast and all-female Ghostbusters is kind of unexpected for me, but I would enjoy it. As long as it's funny, it has that same, same, same ghostly goodness that had me attracted to the first two Ghostbusters movies, I'll be fine. I'll be perfectly content, to be quite honest with you. Um, I am a little worried about the freaking... I am a little bit worried about... Yep, you know, since I'm a brownie and all, I am a little bit worried about freaking uh, the My Little Pony movie. Uh, just because, like, if Rainbow Rocks and freaking Equestria Girls was any indication of how they're going to handle this, Oh yeah, I'm like worried. I'm worried of the yin yang, my friends. I ain't ki I ain't kidding you. I am not kidding you. I kid you not. I'm really worried about that. Like seriously. But thinking about what a dis what a freaking uh, My Little Pony movie would be is another thing. Because I don't know. I mean, what villains they can use, what things they can do. Stuff like that. How far they can go since it's a movie, you know, stuff like that. But it, wor it worries me because, you know, they had their first little forays and movie them with, um, with Equestria Girls. And really, both of those movies to me just, ugh, I can't take them. I'm sorry, they were okay, but I couldn't take them really. I like a cool with the series, and you know, I'm go I just, I'm hoping there isn't any CGI horses because they're the see, because My Little Pony to me is good in My Little Pony Friendship with Magic is good in freaking 2D. That's all. That's all it needs to be. It needs to be in 2D, and that's it. Doesn't need to be. Does, they don't need to come out of. They don't need to come into our world. Maybe some humans could be in the question here. But you gotta do it right, you know. I ain't really, I ain't really tripping on it. You ain't gonna see, you ain't gonna see me in the theaters though. I know that. I mean, probably, probably not. But uh, if you guys, re if you guys listen to that thing on 4chan, uh, where freaking one dude's like predicting the My Little Pony movie, and dude. I mean, not saying like everybody's gonna be like a clobber and you know, ma you know, masturbating profusely, but it just kind of did. <laughs> that would worry me so much. Like, I'm like, I'm like in like the middle, like kind of not in the front row, but like behind everybody, and like some dudes like, eh, 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 and I'm like, and I just hear, a and I'm like, oh god, what the, f oh dude. Leave your clubbing at home. I <laughs> see you really think that's gonna happen. I don't know, but I don't want it to. That's the thing. I don't want it. Bugs, it's not gonna happen. Like, like seriously, no one's gonna just. Not all a bunch of dudes are gonna be like, my little pony. Oh. <laughs> I know, but if it ever, yo, but if we ever. Because I think we're gonna, like, 
do uh, a second, third option that we're not going to talk about here. But uh, but if we do go to the theaters, man, I am bringing a poncho. Why are you bringing a poncho? <laughs> Why are you gonna bring like rain ponchos to a freaking theater? I'm just saying, I'm, you know, I'm bringing me an umbrella and a poncho if we're going. <laughs> but see, we're not gonna need rain. We're not gonna need rain ponchos. You need to calm down. I'm, I know, man. I am serious. We all need ponchos, and we're gonna need them now. <sighs> Yeah, this is going to a good start. We just we talked about movies that we're afraid of. They're afraid that they're going to screw up. And then we just started going. We went into the brony part where Buzzy is talking about he's scared of being kissed on. That's lovely. That is lovely, man. That is, that is freaking beautiful. <laughs> Let's get on topic, guys. I'm just saying. It's a time and place for this. It's either 4chan or freaking... <laughs> Freaking Amigo. Omega. You guys watch the freaking Dolly Omega video? Yeah. You guys ever wonder like why do do why do people like why do people like beep off an Amigo? Like seriously, most of the people they run into nine times out of ten are gonna be dudes. That's freaking nasty, man. There is the unmoderated section. You can go there. You know, no one wants to see your freaking your freaking schlong on camera. Or go to a freaking. Or they can go to like adult websites like Pornhub that actually have webcam things and probably actually have some webcam greeting places where you can actually do that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah, you know, I've been watching a lot of Perverted Pete lately. It's really quite fun. It's funny because he's stupid and he reminds me of Ani a little bit. And if, like, Ani, like, wore a mask and was talking about perverted things and just kind of, you know, kind of, <laughs> he's kind of acting like he was a. You know, I think he's more of like a. It's like he's a cartoon character of pervertedness. Like, you can be perverted one minute and be nice the next minute, like, Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm friendly, ooh. And, you know, the other people would be like, Tickle my pickle. <laughs> oh, but, you know, this is how it is. <sighs> so, what are we, but the freaking Peanuts movie and, uh, the Popeye's, Popeye's, uh, animation test. Why is freaking Sonny going like, oh, we don't, we don't think, we don't think it, we don't think it should be greenlit, but then we're, then they were going to make it, and they are going to freaking make it at this point, and it's like, why are you not greenlitting it? Greenlitting it, because people want to kind of see that, because Gendy Karkowski is freaking awesome. Yeah, that's true. I know it's true. Um, but that's about a, that's about as enough as we can actually talk about. We're I'm Bunsy. I'm a, I'm at Sakamaru, Maruing your Marus with Maruness. Yeah. Yeah, people, I'm freaking back. I don't even care anymore. I am freaking in your freaking heads now. I can freaking say, I'm saying my old catchphrases again. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So, what you're trying to say to me is that you're, is that you're over a certain somebody. I'm over it. I'm down the hill and I'm ready to party. Yeah. Where the boobs? <laughs> Where the boobs at? <sighs> I think your bro is trying to mask his hidden pain. Oh, you you just now realize that? Yeah. Well, not really. I mean, you probably noticed it too when we when we do these videos. What are you guys whispering about? Nothing, Ani. We're we're going to end the video now.
Well, we're the big three, and we'll see you next. We'll see you around next time. Do 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 do.